Hello, subscribers and future subscribers. I'm Karma Jolt. This game is The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, and I am about to do it. Also, if it happens to be your B day, then happy B day. I left this message for you. Let's begin. Last I left off, I did some stupid shit where I, like, got a sword upgrade. And I think I have to, like, warp across the entire world right now to get back to, like, one part of the island so that I can progress with game. Oh, but first I'm gonna go see Crazy Tracy, because she's crazy. Also, she's got, like, this potion that I could buy that's pretty useful. Also, it's, like, super professional of me to put my hand in front of my mouth when I talk sometimes. I got a secret for sale that'll pump you up. Will you give me 28 rupees for my secret? Could have sworn last time it was more expensive, but I guess it's just the supply and demand fluctuates for this product so much. All right, come here and I'll rub it on you, directly into your eyes. The secret ingredient is habaneros. There, I've applied my own secret medicine. It will take effect when you die. Well, that's cool. Hey, let me go elsewhere. Uh, I am prematurely equipping this, uh, no, wait, I knew I needed the bracelet. What am I talking about? Um, oh shit, I can shoot this guy with my sword now and not have to worry about getting zapped. That is so amazing. That is so convenient. By the way, there's like a witch doctor that lives in that house or whatever. Um, you don't have to worry about that ever. But hey, let's go this way and use the little warpy pipe. Ugh, bushes! I hate foliage. Fuck nature. Well, let's get out of here. Also, that's not actually my stance. Nature's pretty cool. We should have, um, we should hire someone to lead the EPA who firmly believes in cli climate change because it is totally a thing and not a myth. So, you know, it's weird that we have someone who's like, Oh, science is false, as the head of our EPA. Just saying. Just, that's my political message for this episode. But hey, you didn't come here to talk about politics. You came here to ignore some owl. Uh, as we are on our way to two shrines. Hoot! There are two shrines. One to the north. The other, you'll never guess where. First, head south where ancient ruins speak of the wind fish. You will learn so much there. Ah, that guy dropped a bomb. And I'm not talking about his rap album, y'all. I keep touching my face because I can't get my hair out of my nose. It's the struggle of having hair in your nose, you know. Uh, first I'm gonna head south like that bird told me to do. Guess I'm going this way. Ah, huh, shit. This place has g, g g ghosts and monsters all around. Oh, you can't kill those things with a sword. I think arrows will do the trick. Oh, shit. They did the trick really well. They did the trick way better than I expected. See ya. You figured, though, that, like, their large shields would be able to stop these arrows. Gosh, this place is so confusing. I'm gonna get lost so many times. Actually, I think... Oh, yeah, you can even see that there's a staircase under this guy. Oh, it leads nowhere? You got 20 rupees. Joy. I swear that's a secret seashell if you don't already have um, the sword upgrade. Maybe I'm wrong about that, though. Because I'm wrong about a lot of things. Jeez, look at how many freaking jelly guys are popping up everywhere just waiting to be shot by me. Um, I believe that enemy's name is Zol. The little jelly guy that I was referring to. Holy shit. Listen to this ominous and mysterious music. And fuck pottery. Oh, this guy for sure dies to arrows, just like he does in, um, A Link to the Past. And I think you also want to have the Rock's Feather equipped for this battle. 
because occasionally he'll stomp on the ground and he'll make the floor shake. I'll show you this time. It'll stun you for a second if you're not airborne uh, during that miniature earthquake tremor. Holy shit, he dropped a key that looks like uh, an adorable little kitty or something. You found the face key! Nothing else to explain about that. Holy shit, what is this writing on the wall? Huh? There is a picture carved on the wall. It's called a relief. Thank you very much. But you can't see it because it's too dark in here. Uh, or at least it will be in a moment when this text box disappears. I don't know why we uh, lit up the room just to tell you that. Alright, fine. Let's read me some history here. Wow, I fucking love archaeology. To the finder. The Isle of Koholint is but an illusion. Human, monster, sea, sky. A scene on the lid of a sleeper's eye. That sort of rhymed. Also, pretty heavy-handed right here. And if you've never played this game before, right now you're probably like, Oh no, don't tell me that, like, this is all just a dream or some stupid cliche shit like that. Uh, and in which case, my response is, I don't want to spoil anything, but prepare to be disappointed. And yes, this is, for some reason, my favorite Zelda game. Awake the Dreamer, and Koholint will vanish, much like a bubble on a needle. That's a... that is more than just vanishing. That's an explosion, is what you're talking about. Castaway, you should know the truth. What? Illusion? Click here for the truth about Koholint Island. Wow, that was so clickbaity right there. Well, at least I got the secret, which you get by killing that dude. I guess I'll get two more arrows here. No! Well, then I'll leave it asymmetrical for the next person. Hoot! I've been following you. Sorry about that. But I see you have read the relief. What a relief. While it does say the island is but a dream of the windfish, um... Just don't be disappointed in the climax of this game. It, the development was rushed. Kind of had to get it out there. Anyway, no one is really sure. Just as you cannot know if a chest holds treasure until you open it. So you cannot tell if this is a dream until you awaken. Uh, except unless, of course, you're lucid dreaming, where you're dreaming and you fucking realize you're dreaming, and you're like, hey, I can do whatever I want now, so I am going to have Hulk Hogan sign uh, this toilet paper for me a as an autograph, even though I know it won't be there when I wake up. That happened to me once when I was lucid dreaming. The only one who knows for sure is the Windfish. Trust your feelings. Someday you will know for sure. My voice changed suddenly. I think I'm going through puberty. Uh, oh yeah, I should, um... Actually, I think I can just bust these guys out of the way. See ya. I don't even need to deal with their shit. See ya. <clears throat> I'm just gonna jam my way through here. Okay, maybe I can't push my way through there. Or I'm not leet enough to do it. Leet is still a thing that people say these days in 2017. Am I not correct? Ah! I'm being assaulted by these things that wake up when I touch them. If only there were a strategy for avoiding them. Well, uh, I think I gotta go to the north now because there's that old there's a whole other shrine that dude was talking about pretty sure I just go this way damn everyone's throwing shit and shit it was crazy man uh, I think there's a fairy in here that will replenish my health which is something I need at the moment, because my health is not very healthy. Let's get rid of all that stress. Also, I will uh, mend your bone fractures and patch up the bleeding. Close your eyes and relax. Also, you might want to bite down on this uh, tongue depressor. Well, see ya. Thanks for all the healing. And the free health care. What a concept. Never heard of anything like that. Oh shit, I need to shoot this guy, don't I? 
Oh, I've awakened from my thousand year slumber. Oh shit! Just immediately kill him. Imagine that knight is like, oh, thank you, young traveler, for touching me and breaking the spell that was cast on me. This curse has plagued me for over a hundred centuries. And then you just immediately shoot him. I guess he'd still be like, well, better than standing around like a statue. The sweet release of death. Wow, this is a weird fucking looking keyhole, and I want that on my, uh, on my doors to my apartments. Holy shit, it's the Face Shrine! And this is like one of my favorite BGMs of the game, by the way. Ooh, wait, hold on, I know what to do here. Bam! Surprise! Um, I will hum this creepy and scary tune occasionally while I'm just sitting at work doing nothing. I mean working, if my bosses are watching. Um, but I do appreciate that both face shrines, the South Shrine and the North Shrine, have slightly different uh, theme songs. I want it! You got a piece of power. I can feel the energy flowing. I think what I need to do is this. Man, look how gosh darn fast I am right now. It's like I feel the energy flowing. Where does this take me? Oh, it takes me to a stone slab? Something is inscribed in the stone slab, but you can't read. That's okay, you've got a sword, you're very powerful. Uh, one day you'll become a police officer and just, you know, bully people for the rest of your life. I'm gonna grab these arrows because I feel like it. Oh shit, do I need to kill those guys? I'm guessing no. Um, also, I'm not sure whether I need those pegs to be up or down. You found a fragment of stone slab. Now can read message on wall. Ah, turns out I probably need to go this way. How do I open that door? Do I throw something at it? Oh, that was it. That's, yep, that's how you do it. What's in here? Oh, the compass. You've got the Comp USA. Now you can see where the chests and nightmare are hidden. This compass has a new feature. Um, it's really warm, and it'll warm up your hands if you're cold. A tone will tell you if a key is hidden in a room. That's what I meant to say. Yo, flying bombs? I trust those. Touched. Where does this take me? Somewhere important? Oh, it turns out... Okay, so I needed that, um... I need to hit that switch. Whew, I can hit it from all the way over here because I have full life and my sword... My sword shoots phantom beams from the tip. My sword? I'm guessing... That I'm gonna need to do it like that or something. Sorta of close. I almost got it. I don't think you can kill those guys with your sword, and that's why I'm using bombs. Yeah, um, well, at least you can't kill him with the beam. Damn, that didn't kill him? Okay, let me try this again. Pop up, friend! Yeah, I knew you could trust me. I don't know what I was about to say, but I'm gonna kill this dude because I feel like it. He doesn't give me a fairy, though, unlike, um, unlike the anti-fairy enemies in A Link to the Past. I, like, always have to pause to remember the names of these games, because to me it's just Zelda, Zelda, and Zelda. Uh, well, shit, where do I go, son? Did I miss something? I mean, obviously I missed something. I shall take these arrows. In fact, I'll use one right now. Ah, I don't know why I walked right into that magical beam when I could have not done that. Okay, I see what I need to do. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you noticed this obvious path over here, but there is a bombable wall in the wall. Kaboom! Damn, this room's so dark and scary. But I have a piece of power! Holy shit! 
That's like, I'm so glad they put that mechanic in. I'm so, that's super satisfying whenever you hit an enemy and they just like fly into the wall and slam there and get wrecked. Damn, that is a large uh, sparkly fireball kind of enemy. Or it's just a weird flashing pig's nose. Well, might as well get my health back by jumping on this fool. Oh shit! Climb the ladders faster! Well, I'm a fool and I, sh and I honestly should have known that. I should have known that I need to hit the switch on my way out. Or on my way in is more like it. Okay, so... Let me try this one more time. Okay, yeah, yeah, I definitely need to do this. And I, I had it right the first time. Because I definitely remembered, like, hey, this is something you need to do. I just didn't know why, because I didn't have context, I didn't see this other room. I hadn't been there first. Should have just trusted my instincts. I don't know why I'm still killing those guys like I need to kill them. Okay, let's go back through this 2D dungeon area. Oh shit, how do I avoid getting hit by that guy? It's probably really easy. I just... am not gonna do it the way that you're supposed to. Uh, are there wizards in here? Yes, there are! Oh shit. And I still ran into their... Uh, magical fireball things. Oh shit, is this what I think it is? A treasure! Yes! You've got a more powerful bracelet? Now you can almost lift a whale! <laughs> but instead you can lift like a, you know, uh, an elephant looking statue thing. Damn, that's so satisfying to just destroy those things. They have their own sound effect too. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. I don't know if you noticed that. Um, where the fuck am I going right now? Oh, I don't have, like, a map map. I don't have the map! I just realized that. Okay, but let's just figure out what's over this way first. <clears throat> oh, I missed the button. <laughs> and yeah, I dropped a bomb for that. Because I thought I had my sword equipped. I'll equip the shield for no reason. Um, let's go read that stone slab, just because we have the thing now. How do I get to those rooms? Enter the space where the eyes have walls. You mean where the walls... Not where the walls have eyes? Did you mean the other thing? Did you mean something else? Um, well, I gotta re-equip this bracelet. Weird that the pot isn't heavy enough to uh, hit that button down. Can I reach this button? No, probably not. Okay. I guess I gotta go back. I don't even know if there's anything over there. Like, I don't quite remember if I saw anything that I could, uh, any puzzle that I could solve with this new bracelet. But let's go figure it out together! Yes, I love bombs. If I hit it again with another pot, will it close? Um, okay, so let's hit this button and go north. I need this rupee because there's clearly more stuff for me to buy in this game. Am I just gonna do that? Oh my gosh, the slowdown! That was amazing! That was so satisfying. You got a hundred bucks. You're happy. Oh. Uh, this is like the river raft area. Um, there's like a little minigame you can play. This is totally supposed to be a secret seashell. But I guess since I have that sword already, they're giving me rupees instead. Face shrine. Okay, and this is an annoying thing. You have to throw these chess pieces until they both land uh, face up, until they're both upright. And it's just purely random from what I understand. Is that all I needed from that? Is that really all I needed? Okay, so I didn't need to, I didn't need, need to be there at all. I'm gonna jump over these fools. 
I jumped over both of them. Are you proud of me? Okay, so maybe I don't need to go this way because the only thing over there was like some key that I already got. Um, this. Okay, so, but there is like an entire, uh, entirely separate section of the, of the dungeon that I just haven't been to yet. Whoops. Okay. I keep forgetting to hit these switches on my way out. No, I can't. Did I miss there? Ha, I made it. I just made it. Okay, so... Wait, what's through that door, for example? Can I open it? Yes, holy shit! Throwing things at doors is like the best way to open them. And I got those hearts that I definitely needed. More rupees. Man, they're just showering me with rupees here. Like, by the way, in case you don't have the bow and arrow, and you don't feel like stealing it, um, we're gonna give you like a million rupees right now. Just so you don't have to be a thief. But yeah, stealing the bow and arrow is like one of the best choices you can make in the game. Uh-oh, I know what this is. Okay, so I'm gonna bust out my shield. I'm just gonna let these things hit me. Because I am weak and I am just prone to being bullied and... There's nothing I can... I just gotta accept it and let it happen. Well, this door closed, which means you just gotta be angry at it, and that will open it up. I know what it wants me to do here. Oh, I didn't get all of them with one bomb. That's fine. No reason for me not to have more arrows. What's over here? Damn, good thing I have an extra powerful sword. Or else I'd only, like, barely kill these things in one hit. And yes, it's wet in this part of the dungeon. You will need to bring your your aqua socks. Oh shit, you got a small key. You can open a locked door. That's great. Ooh, that's definitely the nightmare key up there. So how do I get over there? How do I do it? But I have to take some weird warp within the dungeon. Herp. Oh shit, I jumped up the stairs and over that guy. Well, what's down here? Some weird shit? Oh fudge, did it really just lock me in here? Pardon me. Um. I assumed there might be a switch under that pot. I don't know why. Oh, I have a small key. I can open this door now. Is there anything in here? Oh, you know what I'm guessing? Oh, yeah, of course. Okay. I was guessing that the walls would be bombable. I've been playing so much Mega Man lately that I was afraid that if I switched from, uh, from bombs to my bracelet that the bomb I had planted would disappear. And this is like one of the most adorable bosses in the game. You know, adorable bosses like that movie. It's this little doggo that just wants to play ball. He's like, yeah, let's both fetch. So I'm like, okay, go get it, son. And he has this cute little noise that he makes, like, bork, 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 bork. But yeah, that will hurt you a lot if he hits you with it. Oh, I killed him. Man! Okay. Goodbye, uh, little stingray dog thing. What's in here? Nothing, you say? Oh, uh, wait. Hold on. I'll go downstairs first. Wait, what is this way? Man, the, the, the rock's feather is, like, clearly the most useful item in these 2D side-scrolling parts. There is a key in here, and I'm pretty sure I get a key if I just survive all of these tiles being thrown at me. Alternatively, if you don't want to use the shield, you could just mash your sword over and over, but you never use the shield in this game, so I think I'll give it its one opportunity here. 
Um, I don't know what's down, but hey, this part is blocked off, so you clearly want to go this way first. Um... I need this! Giant elephant statue, also known as Large Key. Yep, do the thing you're supposed to do. This'll take me a few tries. I imagine this part sucks for a speedrun. Because it's just entirely random. Unless there's a trick to it and I just don't know. You know what's happening here. See ya! Oh, I stopped running for some reason. That's okay. Those things aren't all that heavy, so therefore they don't hurt all that much. You know what? I think I can do this. I think I can make noise in here, and these... And they'll just instantly explode. Holy shit. That's how you deal with that problem. I don't really know if I needed to do that. Oh, maybe I did need to kill those enemies in order to go this way. I don't know what's up here. Oh, I have the Rock's Feather equipped. The thing that I was looking for was in my hand. How often does that happen? Dang it. Well, I just picked up a whole bunch of stuff. That's cool, right? Really? It just gave me rupees? Damn. You're ecstatic. I'm not, actually. I'm really not. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Um... Let me hit that first. I just assume that I'll need that button to be hit. Yay, second try. Damn it. And these pots came back. They replaced them all so quickly. Dang it. I fudged it up because I was trying to be too fast. But instead, I was bad. Whoa, Dodongos. Good thing I picked up a bunch of bombs. Um, I don't know if throwing them is the fastest strategy, but I feel like it's the most reliable, I say, as I throw like 10 bombs away. Okay, let me just walk right up to him and plant a bomb. No. Got him. Yes, this boss is fun and exciting. It's weird that this is the, the Dodongo design that they went with. Like, this enemy is actually Dodongo. It's supposed to be the, the dinosaur thing from the original game. Come this way. No, don't avoid bombs. That may be what your mother told you to do. <clears throat> or what common sense and logic would dictate. Uh, let's go this way. I did see that there was another path the other way, but let's go this way first. Get wrecked. Hey, yes, this is where I want to be. Uh. Do I, do I have to throw something at this to open it? Oh, apparently you just have to throw stuff at stuff all day to open it. You've got the Nightmare's key. Now you can open the door to the Nightmare's lair. <clears throat> I was trying to close it back up by throwing something at it, but maybe it doesn't work that way. I don't know. Yes, I got a heart. Oh. Well, where is the Nightmare's lair? Oops, I am hitting the wrong map button. I guess it's to the left and up. Oh shit, double kill. Did you see that shit? Probably not, because you're like at work. Like, trying to work on something. And you just have this video on as background noise. Oh shit, I got them all. Like Pokemon. Um, okay, so... Oops. Oh man, okay, so I didn't realize that now that I have the more powerful sword, um, those little jelly guys are instantly dying and not turning into their tinier jelly selves. Did I just go in a loop here? Is that what just happened? How is that even possible? Okay, that's cool. I didn't know that was a thing. 
But, because I don't remember what's to my left, I'm gonna go... Because I don't remember what's down these stairs, is what I mean. I'm gonna go this way. Um... And now where am I? Okay, so what happens if I go down? Oh, I haven't been here yet. Oh, shit! That thing was making me spin. Uh, how did I miss there? Well, apparently I- that was the secret! Fall down the hole! And you'll... Shit! And you'll open the door! Oh, I have to kill this guy, like, for sure. I wonder if I can just push him into the hole there. Oh, cool! Okay, great! It worked! And this is the boss room! Wow! Okay, so I'm, like, just about done with the dungeon. Why would I need to do this? Oh, it kills dudes! I thought it would give me maybe a small key, uh, just in case I was missing one. Oh, this is like my favorite boss, okay. Because it's the face shrine, they decided to have a giant face as their boss. Isn't that scary? Hey dummy, need a hint? My weak point is... Whoops, there I go, talking too much again. Wow, you almost let that secret slip. Yeah, by the way, my weak point is my face, which is also technically my entire body, because I am a face. Damn, that tile did so much damage to me. But yeah, you have to drop bombs on this guy's face, which is like pretty much every boss or, you know, high school bully that you'll encounter. Oh shit, the pots came flying at me too. Okay, listen up. If the windfish wakes up, everything on this island will be gone forever. And I do mean everything. Oh good, he dropped a heart for me. That'll help me for when I pick up this next heart container and replenish my life. Yeah, you're more powerful now. And here is some fucking triangle. Um. <laughs> you've got the coral triangle. Combine it with a bomb for some crazy antics, I don't know. You've got the Cobra Triangle, which is a great game on NES if you've never played it. Dude, maybe I should play that. Maybe that should be like my next video series. Watch out, by the way, for that bomb you're holding. Mountain! Something calls from the mountains. Well, shit, it looks like I beat this fucking dungeon, so I think I'm gonna end the episode here. Do the bombs not explode while you're carrying them? Like, you could just never be hurt by bombs? Can you get hurt by your own? Apparently, Link is immune to explosions. I had no idea. I did not even know that. Um... So... It's not gonna get any better than that. So I might as well sign off now. Thank you so much, everybody for watching this episode of The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Until next time, this is Karmajolt signing off. Tell your friends I'm great.